Hey guys, what's up? So today I want to do my little recap on episode 3 of the first season of Riverdale, Body Double, that was the name, and this was a really good episode. I feel like I'm channeling like my inner Cheryl and um, <laughs> like Betty with the half little pony. I think I look ridiculous. I'm very tired. It's literally do in the morning but um yeah i just took a couple notes and i thought i would do this on my webcam just so i can get it up and ready and i don't have to edit it and then it won't go up till monday so um yeah uh she gets arrested and we're all like oh like she killed jason it's a thing you know and then everyone's like no like i'm guilty for lying i didn't kill him though like he wanted to run away blah blah, blah. i believe her now at the beginning i was very spe spectacle whatever the word is and i didn't trust her because she's like evil and conniving and like she's kind of scary but um I definitely don't think she killed her brother. I now suspect the teacher after everything. I feel like every episode it's going to be like that, though. I'm going to suspect somebody different every episode. But, um, Archie goes ahead and, like, fusses up, like, yeah, I knew this whole entire time. So, yeah. Guilty. Were you with anyone? Yes. My dog. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, awkward. I also wanted to comment on the fact that I love that Betty called Jughead and <laughs> she called him Juggy. Like, I love that. And he's going to write for a newspaper now. So, that's a thing. Um... Veronica goes on a date, which ends up being this whole, like, <clears throat> slut-shaming thing. Like, all the guys have taken records of all the girls. And then Betty sees that her sister's on there, and Polly's on there, and there's just, like, this whole thing. Like, everyone's like, no, Jason was so nice. Like, he would never. But it was just, like, this whole thing that the guys are just, like, taking count of every girl and things like that that they, like, mess with and things like that. It was just ridiculous. I was so upset about that. I was like, mm-mm. But I love Top Brown because like, I don't follow the rules. I make them. She's basically like, yo, you're gonna delete this now and he didn't do it. He got his payback the whole, the whole like hot tub thing. Definitely got him his payback because when, um, she like pours the syrup on him, that part was kind of like, she like became Polly in that sense. So I'm like, girl, was that Polly? And then she like acted like she wasn't there. And I was like, girl, that was you, right? Did Polly escape the home that she's in right now? Because that was kind of creepy. But I loved how they got the revenge. Even though I feel like it's kind of, like, the same way. But, like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> like, I love that they got the revenge, but then I kind of felt bad. And then at the end, they're like, oh, this is going to have their consequences. And I'm like, mm, what's going to happen? I'm scared now. But, um, yeah, Archie goes to run away to help the Pussycats write their new, um, write their new their new song or whatever and like his dad notices that he like snuck out and all that but his dad like goes and like watches them perform because he didn't let Archie go but Archie sneaks over there so I looked that I love that I love how the dad like made him like a studio and all that I thought that was really sweet and like he's like yeah like I talked to your teacher like did her and he's like what did you guys talk about like I felt like the teacher was very nervous and all that but um okay I thought it was really good. like I hate Betty's mom I despise her she's so rude like literally want a bitch like she was like the lipstick part she's like this is so not you this is so poly I was like girl stop it no <laughs> she was kind of creepy i'm not gonna lie and um yeah i don't know i funny because like when chuck walks in he thinks it's the two girls and i was like chucky's lucky day or not so lucky day <laughs> but um yeah so betty's mom goes after uh goes after cheryl's mom oh no cheryl's mom goes after betty's mom and then betty's mom goes after veronica's mom and i was like oh my god just like a whole drama like you guys are in high school but you guys are the moms now it was just it was too much. But yeah, I'm not a fan of Betty's mom. I'm also not a fan of Cheryl's mom, but like, whatever. It is what it is. But um, yeah, we find out the Scott, he's the um the little boy scout. He uh shot the gun and like on July 4th, but he's not the one who shot Archie because Archie didn't die till like the eleventh. So there's all this stuff that we don't know yet. And uh I'm excited to find out what happens. And um yeah, we end up finding out that uh, the teacher was there. Like he's like, Well, I have a better story, don't say that I shot the gun. So, yeah, um, that's what's gonna happen next, is that we're gonna find out the whole teacher. Apparently, in the promo, it's, like, the, like, the teacher doesn't even exist, like, her name and all that. So, next week's gonna be crazy, and I do not touch the, I do not trust the teacher now. I'm nervous. So, I wanna know what you guys think down below, because, I don't know, like, it just, it was a really good episode, and I loved it, and I loved, like, how, uh, you know, since Judge had her, Judgey, he's, uh, <laughs> Juggy, <laughs> I can't even say it right, how he's, like, the one narrating it, he's, like, it's always gonna be, um, V and B together, or whatever, or B and B forever, or whatever, so it's, like, I just wanna call him B and V now, like, about Betty and Veronica, but, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought, um, in the back of my notes, I was, like, oh my god, the teacher did it, <laughs> next week's gonna be cray-cray, so, uh, yeah, Scott saw the, um, teacher's car.
it was gonna be insane because obviously he was with Archie, but Archie said he was alone, so like she's gonna be the suspect. And like I don't know, maybe Archie left her alone for a minute there. Who knows? So comment below your guys' thoughts because I need to know. That's why I just want to do this on my webcam just to get it out because I want to know what you guys think. And yeah, I'll talk to you pretty faces in the next one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and yeah, bye guys.